Hey, this is Andy DIY. I'm working on an 05 Honda Pilot. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, verbal postings on this, but I'm kind of a visual guy, so I didn't see anything on this. I figured I'd show folks that wanted to see actually where these, these uh, three and four shift sensors are. Uh, first, to get to it, you want to take off your plastic here. You don't have to take it completely off. You can leave the back part on. You'll take off roughly, I don't know, about seven or eight of these clips here. I did break one, but I've got a bunch of these. They're pretty cheap. You got two uh, 10 millimeter bolts. One of them goes here. I think the other one's up here. Actually, one's here and one's in the front. Then you just kind of peel this thing back and lay it back here. And then I come up under here. I can even show you. I've already moved the screws, but you've got these two screws right here. These are 10 millimeter screws. They go here. One goes here, and the other one goes right there. And that's just a cover. And this is the number three shift sensor or shift pressure sensor. You just take that off and move it forward. Now I'm just going to work around it, but there it is right there. That cover, plastic cover is covering it. Uh, the number four one, and the nice thing, way you can tell which one it is, if you follow this tube right here, you'll see a number three right there. That's how you'll know which one you got somehow if you get confused or whatever. That says number three there. Uh, okay, so move that aside. So you got that finished. The number four one's even easier. It's right here. And of course, like as good as Honda is, there's your number four right there. So that's how you know you're in the right place. Number four here, number three on this side over here. And it's just right here. Um, I think they call for like a 22 millimeter socket. I'm gonna cheat. Uh, I don't have that, so just cause I guess I've misplaced it. But this is a 7 8. Of course, 7 8 will fit that. So I'm gonna use a 7 8. That fits good enough. Um, I didn't. I haven't looked at the torque yet, but here are my parts. Uh, I got mine online, and we'll see how good they are. Uh, these are, uh, I paid 30 bucks a piece for these, and these are, a dealer wants 80. So these are the two I got. This is the number, I think this is the number four sensor, and this is the number three uh, pressure switch, center switch. And they, they state that these are the numbers on the bags. Okay, so I've got these two screws out here. I'm just gonna just kind of work around it. Here's your sensor here, your uh, shift sensor here, number three. So you'll press a button in and it just, this thing just pops off. And you see how this button is? You can see it here, you just push that button in and it just pop, pulls straight back. And here's your sensor. I'm gonna just slide my socket around there and break it free and then move on to number four, which again is right here. And this is the same way, the button's kind of on the back. You just press down on number four here and it just pops right off then you just you know put your socket around and go to work but that's really all there is to that it's not too bad